Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 7th of January 2017 and we're providing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 6th of January. Gold rose in US dollar terms last week by $21 from $1,151 to $1,172. Having hit a high of 1,184 and a low of 1,146. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £954. That's up £21. And in euros, it closed at €1,113. Euros. That's up €18 euros on the week. Silver rose by 56 cents, from $15.94 to $16.50 having reached a high of 1671 and a low of 1591. In sterling terms, it closed at £13.42. pence. That's up 51 pence for the week. And in euros, it closed at 15.66 euros. That's up 0 0.51 euros. The gold to silver ratio fell from 72.2 to 1 to 71.03 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 19,963, up 64 points on the day and up 201 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 5,521, up 33 points on the day and up 138 points on the week. Brent crude was up 28 cents at $57.10 and US light crude was up 27 cents at $53.99. The dollar index stands at 102.22. That's up a tiny 0 0.01 on the week. Similar to the previous week, gold was bullish again for most of last week, peaking on Thursday and then falling back a little once the jobs data was published. As reported in our video yesterday, According to the Labour Department, the headline number showed the economy added 156,000 jobs in December in the US. Traders were looking for 175,000. The unemployment rate rose from 4.6% to 4.7% as expected. Average hourly earnings rose 0.4%, up from 0.1%. Minus 0.1% and better than the estimate 0.3%. The general consensus of traders' opinion is that although the figures were less than anticipated, the upgrading of the November figures and the increase in hourly earnings suggest that the economy is actually improving and that interest rate rises are on the cards for 2017. We tend to agree. Last year, we predicted one interest rate rise. This year, we estimate there will be two. Possibly three, though we're more confident of two quarter point rises. Although the dollar weakened during the week, it strengthened once the jobs data was announced. And we envisage this being a regular move for the next few months. With this in mind, gold appears extremely resistive at the $1,200 area, and the closer we get to that level, the more likely sellers are to become aggressive and push prices closer towards $1,100, though this may take a week or two to achieve. All eyes will be focused on the equity markets as the Dow approaches that all-important 20000 level, and if it is reached and held, then we shall see even more funds moving out of the precious metals and back into equities. This we envisage occurring once President-elect Trump has been inaugurated, or perhaps just before. The silver markets rallied during the week, breaking well above the $16 level. However, there is considerable resistance all the way up to the $17 level. As with gold, the US dollar's continuing strength should continue to put pressure on the silver market. Having said that,
the more bullish traders believe that the economy is going to perform, should, to some extent, underwrite silver's value. Though we are still of the opinion that we shall see $15 silver before $18 silver. Now, we all know that government statistics are at best flawed and at worst manipulated. This is why we tend to look more closely at the trends rather than the underlying figures. What we feel we need to express, though, is that traders, analysts and those entities which speculate on the markets, whether they be equities, currencies or commodities, do place great store by these figures and anticipate and react accordingly. So whatever you or we think or believe to be the case, it is not us who will move markets. What we can do, though, is look at the long term and remain confident that given enough time, our purchase decisions will eventually prove correct. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe as a free member for regular email updates and offers. Our Facebook page, which is updated daily, can be found at Facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.